you are doing the knee patches on the pants, start by transferring the lines from the paper pattern piece to the fabric. Use Taylor's chalk or a pen. And then top stitch on top of the line, along each line, with your top stitching thread. So the patches should look like this. Top stitch. Then you should finish the top edge and the bottom row edge with your serger overlocker or zigzag and then fold it, fold them to the wrong side by one centimeter or three eighths of an inch. So these row edges on top and the bottom are finished and then fold it to the wrong side. Now fold it and then place the knee patch on the front leg using the markings on the pattern. So the pattern piece of the front leg has notch, has two notches, and you should align the knee patches with those notches. So align the top of the knee patch with the notches, and then you just pin it in place. The wrong side of the knee patch is on the top of the right side of the front leg, and the shorter edge of the knee patch is on the inside edge of the front leg. So pin it first in place, and then pin along the folded edges on the top and bottom of the knee patch. When it's all pinned, you are going to top stitch along the top and the bottom. You don't need to do two rows of top stitching, just one. But before you go to the sewing machine, you can just place the other knee patch on the other leg and pin everything and then sew everything at once. There, the patches are all sewn to the front leg along the top and along the bottom and also based the patches on the sides to the front leg so that everything is held in place. And then you can just trim off the overhang of knee patch from the front pants. So where you find an overhang, you can just trim it off with your scissors. So the knee patches are all done, and actually the front of the pants is also all finished. So now it's time to move on sewing the back and the front together. <laughs>